All right, the two quarterbacks in this game, Patrick Mahomes and Jimmy Garoppolo, were taken in the first round, 10th overall, and in the second round, 62nd overall, respectively. Former Georgia Bulldogs quarterback Jake Fromm left Athens early with hopes of being a first or second round pick. Now, I recently asked another former Bulldog quarterback, DJ Shockley, if he was surprised Fromm left school early. Fromm sets up all day to throw downfield. Give him six touchdowns! Jake Fromm right now training in Alabama, preparing for the NFL draft, decides to leave school early and turn pro. I was personally surprised he left. I thought he could have stayed at school, written every record in the Georgia yeah. passing game, uh, built a statue for this guy. And with him leading that offense and the defense you mentioned, all those guys coming back, they were a legit shot to win it all. I was surprised. Obviously, he thinks it's best for he and his yeah. family and his career moving forward. Were you surprised? I was. Uh, initially, I was very surprised that he decided to leave. Uh, a couple of reasons why I thought he would stay was because I always thought he was a four-year guy. I looked at Fromm and I said, you know, this is a guy who cares about his legacy, cares about making this university better, and the way the season ended, I thought he would want to come back with the reasons that you mentioned, especially on the defensive side, you know you had that. But then you start to see the trickle effect of how many offensive linemen were going to be leaving, sure. uh, how young you still were going to be on the outside, coming into this season and thinking of having some of the same issues you had this upcoming season kind of rears head next year. Fromm throws just over. It missed him. You got good protection and you don't hit him. Yeah, Jake knows it. Ultimately, I believe that his draft stock wouldn't have changed one way or another if he came back. And ultimately, that's kind of what guys kind of figure out. If I come back, can I improve my stock? Yeah. Next year, we know. There are going to be a couple guys at the top of that with right. Trevor Lawrence. It's not like he's going to be Justin throwing 95-mile-an-hour no. heaters right. in, in a year. He's going to be accurate. Yeah. He's going to be an unbelievable guy in the locker room. He's going to prepare his you-know-what And off. that's what the scouts know. The that's scouts right. understand that. So He doesn't need another year to Correct. show that. And he's done it for three years in the SEC. He's played in national championship games. He's played in you know some of the weaker games where you got to see, can he get through it? So I think they've seen him in both realms, and they know exactly who he is. That was quite the emotional moment with Coach. What did you just say to him? He said, don't ever doubt. Doubt Jake Fromm. It only takes one, right? They only need one. Yeah. There's so many teams in the NFL that need a quarterback. True. 32 teams. So I'm going to give you the over-under. Let's go 40. First 40 picks in the NFL draft. Will we hear Jake Fromm's name called? You going under 40 or over? That's a good question. I, I want to say under because of the way uh, – the draft goes sometimes, you know, teams go reaching for quarterbacks because they think, you know, the next wave. But I think this year, I think he's outside the 40. I think simply because of the talent that's at the top right now and the way the draft will probably fall with other pos skill positions that are out there and the big guys up front, I think he falls outside of that 40 range. And wherever he goes, they're still going to, you know, look at him as a, a quality player in the National Football League, but I don't think he's in that top 40 right now. They won't say it publicly with Jake Fromm, but they're like, listen, in the 2019 offense, those are the cards we were dealt, right? We're going to deal with that. We want to open it up. We right. want to do different things. So you think going into 2020, we'll see that type of offense all Bulldog fans want to see. Absolutely. And I think this day and age where we've seen different schools change who they are. And we've seen over the past few years, Alabama change from a downhill attacking style of a run offense to when Tua came, they're wide open and spread. They're using what they have, using their personnel. This year, LSU, same kind of instance. They spread it out. They use the personnel to the best of their ability. Same thing coming in for Georgia. You have a different skill set at quarterback. You have a different skill set on the outside with some of these young, athletic, let's go up, let's throw it up to them, let them go get it type receivers. You're going to have to replace three or four guys on the offensive line. So guess what? You need some guys who can be able to move inside the pocket. And I think this was this will be a good year for that staff to say, okay, here's some of the things we did that maybe we can improve on and we can kind of implement it into our system coming in. So I, they definitely need that guy who can move around and create because they haven't had the last few years, and I think they want that.